Hey guys, just wanted to do a video to showcase my orcs and a little bit of Scions collection because uh, I've posted pictures before, but pictures don't really sell the depth of 3D models. And so these is my these are about 215 models of orcs, about 10 vehicles excluding bikes. Um, so like 200 inventory. Two months ago, I had 125 orcs that were black primed or gray. And 15 were unbuilt, and I said, okay, we're just going to table ready them. So I said, we'll just make a, a better table standard than I usually do, um, which turned out to be something like, uh, this is my new table standard. So um, so we got metal, uh, red, a green skin with two layers at least, and eyes and teeth, and tongue if there's tongue is showing. The reason I need the eyes and teeth is because I feel like that really sells the identity of the creature as a social entity, like as a, as a living entity. Like, the teeth are just green, I, I don't like that. I, these are... About, f I think it's 41 Slugger Boys starting from here. These guys are different. Starting from these red ones, it should be about 41. Yeah, because it's, it's <laughs> a bunch of columns of six, and then there's one more guy there. So he's the, he's the 41st guy. I got creative with these. Oh, this is a, this is a Naruto unit. Uh, Boruto, as we call them. It's an inside joke with our gaming group. So this is like, sometimes I make my Sluggas with just um, lots of melee weapons. This is definitely my favorite one. He's got a plasma pistol just because why not, and I think I did a really good job on the blood. Uh, lighting is poor here. Well, this guy's based off Mega Man. There we are. He uh, He's a new model. I think he looks good. He's got the ridiculous big blue glove. Um, so yeah, we get a little get a little goofy with them, because they're orcs. That's why I love them. You can do whatever you want. There's some objective markers here or whatever. There's a run herd with one group of grots. There's two ammo runs. So this is a ten-man team, or nine-man team of commandos. They're I really rushed their paint job. These guys were just made table ready. I really like this guy. He's got he's got a lot of swords. He's got a chain sword. He's got a chain sword on his uh, on his shooter. He's got a sword in his mouth, and then he's got a sword on his back. This guy is based off of Solid Snake from MGS3 or Naked Snake rather. He's got an eye patch. You can't really see, and he's got a CQC stance and a silencer. Uh, this is a very badly converted. Um, Boss Snickrot. This was a mistake. There's a lot of bad green stuff going on here. The shoulders don't look good. The paint job isn't good. I should green like this is this guy needs a lot of work. This is a 15 man squad of Burna boys. Uh, these are two. These two are mechs, so these are just not. Um, I really like these. Uh, these guys kind of took a, a football player theme or a Blood Bowl theme, I guess, in some contexts. He's got a melt a gun. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Uh, He's got, a, I like that skull face he's got, and uh, did a nice light blue here, which I really liked. Um, this is just a rocket launcher chopped off, and I put holes in the, uh, the what the rocket used to be, and I made it look like a flamethrower weapon. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, this is, I don't even know what this where this bit came from, actually. I like this guy. I think, oh shoot, did I just rip him in half? Okay, well... He just had a good stance. I don't. You couldn't see because I ripped him in half, but he stood like this with the attitude, kind of like raising it up like a guitar. Um, battle leg in here, open top still, really basic color, color scheme, not a lot of detail done. This guy's pinned so you can rotate him. That guy's cool. Three kilocans. Yeah, I don't really love them that much, though they're pretty good units, I guess. They all have different options. Ten-man squad of war bikers. These are... Regular Warbiker boys. These are three Forge World Warbiker knobs. Yeah, they're not... Uh, these guys are actually more detailed than these guys. I just did these really quick to table ready them because they were at my home stretch, kind of. So Forge World um, Warbiker on a bike. Yeah, I gave him a little flamethrower. I don't know why. I guess it was so you could have, like, a combi Scorcha. Big uh, big mech with a custom force field on a bike. This is, this is just made of burn-up pieces, so... Here we go. This is my pain boy on a bike. He's literally just the old pain boy model. So I took this one, I chopped his legs off, gave him biker legs, and put him on um, HQs here. Uh, it's a Big Mac. This is the first HQ I ever bought, and his paint job is not wonderful. Okay, need to get a real camera. This is a knob converted to be a Big Mac with a shock attack gun. The Big Mac shock attack gun uh, model is really expensive, so this is just a, this looks like a, sh uh, a Luda def gun bit, and this is a um, shock staff bit from a run herder, and I knocked that boy over, that's okay, the other guy's chopped in half, so uh, this is a another knob converted to be a weird boy. I acquired this, uh, it's a death, wa uh, 
Chaos Space Marine Terminator staff. Um, don't ask how I got it. This is a cape from the same Terminator. Um, generic war boss with a squ attack squig and a combi shoot, uh, combi scorcha. Assault on Black Reaches war boss, power claw shooter. So we have here, uh, I think 31 shooter boys. Um, varying, very, very varying designs. I got really nuts with my shooter boys. Yeah. So my friend hates this model because it's one, probably from the second box of boys I ever bought. He just got three arms because why not? I have all these extra arms. Why not? Um, this is really, this is a model I painted about two years ago. This is gray balls. He's, he's got a power sword for some reason. Um, he's got a shooter, but then he also has a power clock converted into a shooter because why not? Who else is cool here? Who else do I like? I really like this guy. He's probably one of my, he's probably my favorite shooter right now. He just has a ridiculous gun. And, uh, I like, he got a lot of spikes going on, you know, um, yeah, this is a big shooter held like a regular shooter with the, the kind of the muzzle kind of cut off here. And he's got a little scope. I think that's really adorable. Uh, knocking him down. This is a guy with a Tyranid Devourer something. So I like to take, this weapon is based off my friend's Tyranid's, uh, color scheme, much like, uh, this weapon here. This weapon is a Tau, Tau Pathfinder rifle. I don't know what they're called. Uh, this guy's got a shield, which is cool. Uh, inspired by something I saw in Mini War Gaming and their Gorka campaign, which I love. This is just three Rocket Boys. I don't find Rocket Boys that great to be in a squad, so I only built three of them. One, two, three, four. This is five big shooter boys. I really like this one. He's converted from the Battle Wagon Gunner model. And I just gave him a little piece of cover here, so it looks like he has something to lean on. Um, I also really like this guy. He's designed to be like a Bad Moons, and he's got just a lot going on. He's got a buddy, and he's got a pistol. Like He's so badass, he doesn't need to hold this with two hands. He doesn't need to load into it. He's just using a pistol. Holding it sideways, too. Um, these are about 15 knobs, I think. So these are Black Reach knobs. So when I put these knobs together, this is the first box of knobs I bought probably the third box of orcs I ever bought about two or three years ago and I just gave them war gear options without thinking about what they were so they're all kind of nuts um like seriously this guy's got this guy's got a power claw and a big shoot uh, a big chop uh, no gun um this guy is Kristoff pissed off the first model I've probably ever named this guy just has two power claws and no hands and his paint job is terrible but I like to keep these old paint jobs because they kind of remind me of where I came from um and then these are some Bad Moons knobs. Not fully complete yet, but it took me a while to get the yellow down. And by the time I did, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it anymore. So, um, yeah. So then these are five mech guns of varying types. There's two tractor cannons, two smasher guns, and one custom mega blaster. These are based off a design that I found on YouTube, where a guy took a truck kit and just kit bashed them. So he made three artillery like uh, batteries out of a single truck kit, which I thought was great, just for my budget. Some uh, or, um, mech gun, garrots, whatever. Um, a 10-man squad of tank busters. Some of these are the actual tank buster kit, like that's what the knob is from, and the, the bomb squigs. It's a really nice kit, it's just really expensive. Uh, yeah, this guy's um, based off of the Mad Max stick weapons, but his posing isn't that great. I literally just stuck a rocket onto a pistol for some reason. Um, this guy's a, I like this guy. He's got um, a rocket launcher with a scope that he'll never use. So these are 15 Ludas all bunched together. Only a couple of these are actually from the kit. A lot of these are converted. Um, I like this guy. He's got like a goofy sniper rifle look thing. Um, it's a knob power claw combined with some shooter bits, a big shooter and a sniper scope. Um, yeah, I tried to make sure that they all had a handle going on because that was kind of the defining feature of the, um, death gun. I like this one too. He's got an oversized magazine. He's got a handle and these big shooter bits, I don't even know how I got my hands on so many of them, but yeah, these two big shooters and they're not even aligned correctly. Um... Um, this one too, it's a big, or, I don't know what this gun is from, it's from, I think it's from a vehicle, and then a big, a uh, shooter underneath it. This guy's just a truck gunner, and I just gave him a piece of, uh, gave him something to lean on. I gave him, like, something so he could, uh, you know, have this gun set up like that. 
Same thing with this one. It's just a big shooter with a bipod. Again, he's from a battle wagon kit, I think. I just made this ba uh, this bipod out of the um, pipes from the truck. Um, so this is a converted, this is a looted wagon rhino uh, with two removable pinned guys here. This is probably the first thing I did. This I made this about a year ago. I never like it. Yeah, it's a chaos rhino. You know, it's a lot of chaos bits in my army. That's a wrecking ball that I removable and it's pinned and it looks ridiculous. I love it. Um, really proud of this piece actually. A lot of love in it. Okay, uh, these are two Death Dreads, which I just recently painted. Uh, there's three Death Coptas in the back, which from Assault on Black Reach. And lastly, there's some Storm Boys that are badly painted. Uh, this guy, these two guys are converted from Chaos Raptor legs. Uh, yeah, he's got a little cape thing going on too. This is a Storm Boy knob. These are the first kit I ever bought, so they're badly painted but i'm gonna leave them like that because they literally the it's like a lot of nostalgia here like and lastly i guess i might as well feature this this is my scion army which i recently invested in the tarox um six should be six las guns yeah these are six hotshot las guns two plasma rifles two hotshot volley guns i don't know what this is a las gun again the uh, commissar uh Tempester, Tempester Prime, Medic, two Vox Casters, um, three, these are just objective markers, like a skull. These are um, Assassinorum figures that are converted from Dark Eldar Witches. Um, yeah, their quality varies, but I really love these. This is Kalexis. He looks really goofy. Uh, <laughs> made of a lot of orc bits. And this this top bit with the cannon is actually from the Taurox Auto Cannon. Um, his Eversir with his bolt pistol with a little needle sticking out of it. Doesn't really sell the effect as well, but whatever. Scion backpack to simulate his backpack. Scion sheathed sword. I know he has a sheathed energy energy sword or power sword. And he's his claw. That's supposed to be like the poison injector. And here's a really goofy looking Vindicare with a las gun. Should really have like a, a stock and maybe a longer. If I can get my hands on a scout rifle, a scout sniper rifle, I would use that instead. It's got a little holster and a scion head that looks way too big for this body. Definitely love the Calidus as my favorite. She really sells it. She's mostly, like, not even converted. She's mostly just uh, Eldar Witch pieces except for this power sword. Um, yeah. So that's the whole collection. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Shoot is... Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll post this on Facebook or something. One more thing, just wanted to showcase how crazy it is when I pack all these orcs up. I don't, uh, I don't have like a display case or anything for these. I don't have uh, shelves or anything. These are, I keep mostly specialized squads in here. These are mostly sluggish shooter boys and def copters are in there. These are Tarox and my mech guns are in here. All of my bikes in here, they're all magnetized. Um, other magnetized models, these are, these are the HQs. Uh, something fell out. <laughs> these are all the Scion models, except for the Tarox, and these are all the magnetized orcs. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I'm just, that <laughs> took, oh yeah, and, uh, Grotz. Grotz have been actually demoted to plastic bag status. So, yeah, that's my, <laughs> I shouldn't have dropped it like that. Yeah, it's my art collection.